Hello, my name is Katie Barnes, and today I will be talking to you about write blockers and all the different types of them. An overview of what we will be learning today is what write blockers are, why write blockers are used, different types of write blockers including software write blockers, requirements for software write blockers, hardware write blockers, requirements for hardware write blockers, and boot disks. Why write blockers are used. Write blockers are devices that keep operating systems from writing on files. An example of when write blockers are used is during criminal investigations. If there is evidence on a suspect's computer, then the police will use a write blocker to get the evidence off. This is because none of the evidence can be altered and write blockers will keep that from happening. Write blockers are needed because on a Windows computer, it, it is constantly trying to write new information on files. Some information includes a new access date and time on files. This is not good if you need to know what the last time the suspect act accessed that file. A write blocker keeps the operating system from writing new information. There are different types of write blockers, including software and hardware write blockers and boot disks. They, these all do basically the same things, but in different ways. Software write blockers. Software write blockers use the software on an operating disk to block files from being written on. Software writing write blocking is faster than hardware write blocking. This is because using the software is faster than using the hardware on one's computer. Forensic Soft has created a good software write blocker called SafeBlock. If you remember, we used SafeBlock in one of our assignments from the beginning of the year. This was when we had to lock our, look at files on a flash drive without changing any information. SafeBlock is a relatively new form of write blocking and many think that it is not a reliable form. Many also believe that it is impossible for a software write blocker to work as well as a hardware write blocker. However, when we used the program it seemed to work well. Another important feature of software write blocking is that you can write block as many devices that you can connect to your computer. Requirements for software write blockers. There are requirements for all technology, so they are regulated. The institution that regulates the requirements for write blocking is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. For software write blockers, requirements include blocking any command to a protected disk in the write configuration. It also should not block any commands to a protected drive in the read configuration. It must let the user know when the when the tool is active, it must report all d drives accessible and the protection status of all drives. The tool must not block any commands to an unprotected drive. For more information on this, you can visit the NIST website shown here. Hardware write blockers. Hardware write blockers do the same thing as software write blockers, just in a different way. Hardware write blockers receive program requests to overwrite sectors. The hardware blockers tell the operating system that the drive is read-only, so the computer does not try to write on the disk. The blocker either tells the operating system that the write commands were failures, but this does not work on all computers, because some of the computers don't listen to the blocker because they think that all disks must be able to be written on. The computer could also store the commands in the cache while the hardware blocker is on. Requirements for Hardware Write Blockers There are also requirements made by the NIST for hardware write blockers. These requirements are similar, but they are different from the software write blocker. Some requirements for the hardware write blockers are that the write blocker cannot modify anything that is protected on a storage disk after receiving an operation from the blocker. The write blocker cannot return data requests by a read operation after receiving a read operation from the host. These regulations are made so that the write blocker created will actually work correctly when they are needed. For more information on requirements for hardware write blockings, also see the NIST website from the previous slide. Boot disks. Boot disks are another form of write blocking. A boot disk is like an operating system on a CD. This is used during investigations when the police need to turn on a, sus a suspect's computer and they don't want any evidence to be changed. The boot disk runs off the, 
runs the computer off the operating system instead of using the computers. This is safer because some criminals might have programmed their computers so that if it is turned on improperly, then all the evidence will be erased. Because it's being run on a new operating system means the evidence will not be lost. As I have said before, Windows computers like to always write new information. So with the boot disk, Windows will not be able to write new information when it is turned on. ForensicSoft, the company that made SafeBlock, has also made um, a safe boot disk. This boot disk is very simple to use and it is easy to block and unblock devices. Here we are looking at a boot disk comparison chart. Here, this chart compares Forensic Safe, ForensicSoft SafeBlock with Helix. As you can see, ForensicSoft has many checks in all these columns. Compared to the Helix write blocker, there's not as many checks. Where Helix has more checks than SafeBlock is in the columns that include Review Employee Internet Usage, Capture Screenshots and Key Logging, and e-discovery across the entire network. These information are not as important as other information that are up here. So overall, a forensic soft safe block is more useful or better, a better write blocker than Helix is. What we have learned today is why write blockers are important in criminal cases. And this is because, as we have talked about, it saves evidence from being destroyed or tampered during the extraction process. We've also learned why software write blockers are better or about the same as hardware write blockers, but they're not bad at all. We also learned what boot disks are and why they are helpful in criminal cases. We've also, also we have learned how Forensic Soft has made good technology for write blocking. If you go to this link, you'll see all the different features for software write blockers. And here you'll see how it says safe block is faster than the hardware write blockers are. For more information about write blockers, you can check out my website at www.writeblockers.web.com. Thank you, and I hope you have learned a lot about write blocking.